Welcome to Cloud Manager for Exclaim product overview training. With Cloud Manager for Exclaim, registering, configuring, and managing your Exclaim access points for your business has never been easier, and best of all, it's free. In this training session, we'll introduce Cloud Manager for Exclaim and describe how it will help a customer, identify the five steps for setting up and configuring an Exclaim access point with Cloud Manager, Describe Cloud Manager's features for monitoring, reporting, and setting up notifications. Describe how to troubleshoot the Exclaim access points remotely using Cloud Manager. And identify upcoming features for Cloud Manager for Exclaim that will make managing your Exclaim access points even more exciting. And identify some of the common FAQs to familiarize you with some of the issues our customers face. As a note, we have a separate training showing a demonstration of using Cloud Manager for Exclaim to register, configure, monitor, and troubleshoot Exclaim access points. Cloud Manager for Exclaim is a simple yet powerful cloud management solution for your Exclaim access points. It is a remote management solution versus a local management solution that permits bulk registration and configuration of access points and can create multiple admin logins. Cloud Manager permits unlimited AP scalability and allows multi-site management. For example, if you had a coffee shop chain of 50 stores across the state and each shop had two APs, you could now manage all 50 stores remotely from Cloud Manager. It provides hotspot and social login, 802.1x authentication, and secure guest access along with MAC filtering. It provides a history of network statistics. Cloud Manager is constantly collecting access point network statistics and it stores them for up to seven days. You can view or save these reports at any time. This will help you to analyze and understand the dynamics and potential bottlenecks of your Wi-Fi network. It provides accessibility from anywhere with any type of client device over Wi-Fi or cellular. All you need is an internet connection to access Cloud Manager. All access point configurations will reside in a central database in the cloud, which adds a layer of resiliency to your network. So, for example, if an AP goes down, once it comes back up, it can automatically download its configuration from the cloud. It also features a managed service portal for service providers to offer cloud management Wi-Fi as a service to their customers. As a note, Cloud Manager for Exclaim is not a full, robust enterprise AP cloud controller, but rather a simple, lightweight core management mechanism upon which additional controller and related applications can be built. After logging into your Cloud Manager account, you can communicate with all APs from one remote location through any internet location. It gives you unlimited scalability, allows you to configure and monitor multiple sites, keeps and stores a data history from any device that is attached to the internet using a Wi-Fi or cellular internet connection, and can download reporting based on your needs. Here we list the steps for configuring an Exclaim access point using Cloud Manager. The first step is to create an account and log into Cloud Manager. You can do this by going to www.exclaimwireless.com. The next step is to register the Exclaim access point. Each Exclaim AP has a unique serial number. You can find this number printed on the back of the access point. This is the number that will be used to register the AP. So for example, if you are registering and configuring an Exclaim AP from your office in Sunnyvale, California, and the access point is installed in a coffee shop in Southern California, you need to know its serial number. The next step is to configure your wireless LAN network by setting up the names of your SSIDs. Next, you would configure your access points in your Cloud Manager account, assigning one or more SSIDs, turning on or off specific radios, selection of 2.4 and 5 GHz channels, and so forth. These first four steps can all be performed before the access point is online. This means that you could provision multiple APs before they are booted up. The fifth and final step is connecting to the Internet. When the access point is powered up, it will download its configuration that is stored on the Cloud Manager database. Next, we'll cover each of these steps in a little more detail. Step 1 is user registration. From the web browser, you access the Cloud Manager URL by going to www.exclaimwireless.com website and selecting the Cloud Sign-In tab. Click on Create an Account and then fill in the menu with your first and last name, your email address, company name, username, password, and country. The key fields to remember are your email address, username, and password. These will be used when you log in. You can log in with either your email address or your username. When finished, click on the Register button at the bottom of the menu. Once the user is registered, they are prompted to log in by using either their username or the registered email address and their password. The next step is to register your access points. This is where you will enter the serial number of the access points. 
If you are a first time user and have just created an account, once you log in for the first time, the user is taken directly to the register access point page. Use the serial number of the AP that is found on the sticker behind the AP. Give the AP a name and select the model number from the drop down menu, such as XI 1 or XI 2. You have an option to add an access point tag. This is customized text usually used to identify the AP. Let's say, for example, you have multiple APs in different cities in a state. You could create a tag such as San Francisco for all APs in the city of San Francisco and another tag for Sacramento for any APs located in Sacramento. This helps later when you are running a report. It allows you to sort the access points by this tag. Once you're done registering the access points, you click on Done. This will store the serial number of the access point and the other configuration information into the Cloud Manager database associated with your username. Step 3 is to create your network. You can add a new guest network or add a business network. This slide shows adding a guest network. To add a network, select the Networks tab and click on Add Network. You'll configure your SSID name, a network tag which can be used for multiple networks, and your security settings such as your passphrase, which radio or radios you want to use, VLANs, or whether to enable client isolation. There is no limit on the number of networks you can create. You can also add a new business network for more robust security. For a business network, security settings can either be WPA2 or 802.1x, which works with a RADIUS server. If you select the 802.1x option, you'll need to select a RADIUS profile you create before configuring this network SSID. The fourth step is to configure the access point. You can configure the access point by going to the access point tab at the top of the dashboard and selecting the checkbox by the serial number of the access point and selecting Edit under Action on the drop-down bar, or you can just click on the serial number. A configuration menu will pop up on the right side. Under Networks, type in the name of the network you want connected. You can add up to four networks per radio or a total of eight networks for APs with two radios, such as an XI-2, XI-3, or XO-1 access point. The AP pop-up configuration screen looks similar to this, where the AP parameters and actions can be selected, such as rebooting or resetting the AP, selecting the networks you want associated to the access point, channel selection on both the 2.4 or 5 GHz channel, and whether you want to enable hotspot for the access point. This configuration will get pushed to the AP when you select Save. The final step is to connect your access point to the Cloud Manager. The first step is to power up your access point and make sure the AP can fetch an IP address via a DHCP server. If the AP has a static IP address, it will need to be changed as the Cloud Manager does not support static IP addresses. Make sure the AP is connected to the Internet. Until the AP is connected to the exclaimed Cloud Manager, as long as the AP has Internet connectivity, you should see a blinking green LED. If you haven't registered your AP, it will be blinking green. Once it's connected to Cloud Manager, it will go to a constant green. The latter diagram on the right summarizes what's occurring between the access point and the Cloud Manager. Let's say that you have a Cloud Manager account, but you haven't registered an access point yet. Periodically, the AP will check with the Cloud Manager to see if it's claimed. When it says yes, the AP knows it has been registered, so it needs to do two things. First, it needs to download its AP configuration, which will include the list of networks that the AP has to apply. Let's say it was configured with two SSIDs. In this step, the AP would download just the names of the two networks to know which wireless LAN network configuration it needs to fetch in the next step. The next step is for the AP to fetch the wireless LAN configuration. Once it gets this, the LED will change to a constant green and it will start to service clients. Now we're done with the five steps and your access point is connected and up and running. You can monitor the status of your AP and networks by using the dashboard, which gives a live single page view of the entire network. In this example, there are a total of three APs with two online and one offline. The online access point health says whether the AP is good or needs auditing. Auditing means that there is some issue with the access point that needs to be resolved. The dashboard also lists the top three APs by activity, the number of clients on the different wireless LANs, and clients by OS and signal strength. If you go to the Access Points tab and click on the Access Point, you'll get a pop-up on the right side which will display details specific to that access point. It will show the AP's model, serial number, firmware version, MAC address, and channel selection, as well as if Hotspot is enabled or not. These are just two of the numerous monitoring options available through the Cloud Manager. 
This is a list of some of the auxiliary functions of the Cloud Manager reporting functions. It gives you the ability to generate custom reports on demand. Cloud Manager has the ability to store seven days of data. Once you have the data, you can generate multiple types of reports, such as a summary report, an access point report, or a client report. To do this, you would click on the Reports tab and select the report type and put in the starting and ending dates and click on Generating Report. Once you have the report, you can download it or email it. We also have the ability to do notifications. These are a proactive measure of telling the customer that a change has happened or some issue has occurred. You can be notified, for example, when an access point goes offline for more than 30 or 60 minutes, depending upon which time frame you select. The notifications can be sent via a prompt to the user via the Cloud Manager website, email, or an SMS message. You can also select which day of the week you would like the notifications to be sent. Next, we'll cover some of the newer features of Cloud Manager for Exclaim. Hotspot support is a new feature with Cloud Manager. The way this works is when there is a web request by a client attached to an access point, the AP blocks the request and redirects it to the Hotspot portal where the client will need to log in with their credentials. Once they have logged into the Hotspot portal, the AP will then allow the client to access the web. A hotspot is a physical location that offers internet access over a wireless LAN through the use of a router connected to a link to an ISP. Hotspots typically use Wi-Fi technology. Hotspots are often found at airports, bookstores, coffee shops, hotels, libraries, restaurants, schools, and universities. To configure a hotspot, under the Access Point tab, select Hotspot Profile. Then click on Add Hotspot Profile. Give the hotspot a name, such as Fresno Coffee Hotspot. Select the hotspot provider, which can have up to three options, custom, cloud for Wi-Fi, or purple Wi-Fi. Depending upon which hotspot provider you select, you can redirect the user to up to three types of URLs. You will fill in the primary and secondary RADIS server IP addresses and the RADIS password, and then select Done. After you set up your hotspot, you can then apply it to a specific access point. You would select the access point that you want to associate, and the menu appears on the right. Scroll to the bottom of the menu and make sure the hotspot is enabled and then select the hotspot profile that you created. Cloud Manager also supports 802.1x authentication. This means that when you're trying to connect to a wireless LAN against a RADIS server, the AP will block the client and tell it to authenticate. The client then sends 802.1x traffic to the server and only when the client gets authenticated is the data allowed to pass through. To configure 802.1x authentication, under the Network tab, you would select Add RADIUS Profile, then fill in the information on the new RADIUS Profile and select Done. As a note, before filling out this information, you'll need to know your RADIUS Profile information and the secret key. After creating the RADIUS Profile, you would then configure an SSID with the 802.1x profile. You will go to the Networks tab and click on the 802.1x network, then click on Edit Network. On the Security section, you would select 802.1x and under the RADIUS Profile, select the RADIUS Profile that you created earlier, in our case, Fresno RADIUS Profile. Then fill out the remaining menu selections and click Done. We have a feature called Client Isolation, which means two wireless LAN devices connected to the same wireless LAN are not able to talk to one another. But let's say that you have a printer on your wired network and you only want your corporate clients to access it and not guest clients. Advanced Guest Network Setup will permit this. It will only allow guest traffic and exit to the Internet via the default gateway, while the business SSID traffic can access both the internal and external resources. It also allows you to use MAC filtering. Cloud Manager allows you to create MAC address-based filtering on a per wireless LAN basis. The user can create a MAC list and attach it to the wireless LAN as either a white or black list. A whitelist is a list of MAC addresses that are only permitted to access the wireless LAN, whereas a blacklist would be those addresses of clients that you don't want to give access to. Step 1 is to create the MAC filter profile list. You can give the MAC filter profile a name such as bad guys or good guys. Then you can enter the MAC addresses separated by a comma. Step 2 is then to attach the MAC filter to a wireless LAN. Cloud Manager allows you now to de-authenticate clients. Cloud Manager admins can send a deauth message to connected clients from Cloud Manager. This means that a client can be removed from a wireless LAN and it will need to reconnect again. 
This can help enforce updated access policies by sending DAUTH to connected wireless clients and having them periodically log back onto the wireless LAN to reauthenticate again. This is useful in scenarios where the wireless LAN settings or MAC filter settings are changed. Cloud Manager now offers complete workflows for managed service providers or MSPs to offer cloud-managed Wi-Fi as a service to their customers. It has 100% visibility into customer Wi-Fi deployments and centralized multi-site management through a single portal. MSPs can increase operational efficiency by monitoring, configuring, and troubleshooting remote Wi-Fi deployments over the cloud. It is purpose-built for MSPs, and best of all, it's free. In order to use the MSP, you'll need to contact Exclaim Support to get started. Here we see some troubleshooting methods. If the access point is in a local mode, meaning it is being managed by Harmony, the LED modes are unchanged. If the AP is in the None mode or Cloud mode, we have four LED status modes instead of two. If the LED is a constant red, it means the AP does not have an IP address. Make sure you have a DHCP server available to give it an IP address. If the LED is flashing red, it means the AP is unable to reach the Cloud Manager. Make sure you have an internet connection. If you see a flashing green LED, it means that the access point is able to reach Cloud Manager, but it has not been claimed or configured yet. And finally, if the LED is a constant green, it means that the access point has been claimed or configured by Cloud Manager, which is the normal state. Another method of troubleshooting is by using the Access Point Health Widget on the Cloud Manager dashboard. The access points in the network are categorized into two categories, Healthy or Needs Audit. A widget runs a proprietary algorithm on the access point, including factors such as CPU utilization, memory utilization, RF utilization, and so forth, to determine the overall health of the access point. It will register as either good or needs audit. So, for example, if you have 10 APs and they are all registered as good, you would have a metric of 10 healthy APs and 0 APs that need audit. You can also receive notifications from Cloud Manager, such as service outage notifications. And finally, there is the Exclaim Support Forum. Next, we'll cover some of Exclaim's upcoming features. One Hop Wi-Fi Mesh will allow you to do a single hop mesh that will be available only on the 5 GHz radios. This diagram shows how the traffic will flow once mesh is enabled. The first, or root AP, has its LAN port connected to the network via a hard wire and is wirelessly connected to another AP by using mesh, which in turn has clients attached to it. By using mesh, you can extend the range of your Wi-Fi network. Now we'll cover some of the frequently asked questions. Is Cloud Manager for Exclaim free? The answer is yes. It's free with no subscription costs. In the Cloud Manager mode, how many SSIDs or wireless LANs can I add per AP? The number is the same as the local mode, 4 per radio. That means that with a 2 radio AP such as the XI-2 or XI-3, you can have up to 8 wireless LANs or SSIDs. Can I still manage my AP via Harmony or the AP's web GUI? Yes, but remember that Harmony has a limited feature set. Also, when moving from Cloud Manager to Harmony, it requires a hard reset on the access point. You'll be able to do this, but you'll have to put the AP back into the local mode, which means it will not be managed by Cloud Manager. It's an either-or situation. You can manage in Harmony, but not with Cloud, or you can manage with the Cloud Manager and not with Harmony. You have to switch the access points modes back and forth. Many clients have firewalls between their business wireless LAN and the public wireless LAN. Do we need to make any firewall changes to manage APs using Cloud Manager? The answer is no. Will the Exclaim APs support multicast? Yes, the Exclaim APs will support both multicast and broadcast traffic. Can an upgrade be triggered for all APs managed by Cloud Manager? The answer is yes. Can an access point be claimed using its MAC address because its MAC address is also a unique identifier? The answer is no. We only need the AP serial number. What happens when my AP loses connectivity with the Cloud? Let's say I have five access points and they lose internet connectivity with the cloud. If that happens, the LEDs will be blinking red but nothing happens. User traffic is not affected and the wireless LANs are still available. Once the internet connectivity is restored, all non-sync configuration changes that might have been configured in the cloud are synced with the access point the moment connectivity is restored. Thanks for taking the time to view this training. If you have any questions, please visit the Exclaim forum on the Exclaim website.